Building rapport is one of the biggest keys to becoming a dominant listing agent. Who doesn't want more listings? This should be the top of everyone's Q3 and second half business plans for 2023, the top of your 2024 plan. It should be the top of everyone's plan because listings create market share, create more recognition. You've heard the terms list to last or list to exist. Listings run the real estate market from a business perspective. And most agents, they focus so much on the tactical side. I, I have to do the perfect market analysis for this seller. I've got to know the comparables inside and out. And that is important. Don't get me wrong. Building rapport and making a connection with the client is equally important. And if you don't have the skill set or the training to do that, and they don't feel a connection to you, there's not some magnetism between the relationship, then you might lose listing business. It's just how it is. So I wanted to go over on this episode, the best rapport building techniques that are going to show you off as the expert and the person that should be handling the sale of one of their largest assets. So here we go. I'm going to give you a lot of bullet points here. One, how are you connecting locally or connecting personally with the prospective client? And this isn't, I like fishing. Do you like fishing? Or I've got kids. Do you have kids? It's, hey, I just sold the home up the street or my mother grew up a block away from you, or my cousin lives over here, or I went to high school in the neighborhood. How are you building a local connection around real estate sales expertise? Because that's what consumers want. They want you to be their expert. They want to be treated like the client, not like a friend. So how are you building that local connection that shows you know what's going on in the market? And how are you building that personal connection? And a lot of the things I'm gonna go over are gonna have to do with both sides of this. But I would look at how can I connect to the area as number one? What sales activity do I have? Is my team selling homes in the area? If you're on a real estate team, that's a great way to lean into it. Is your brokerage or your firm selling homes in the area? Another great way to lean into the local connection. Sales resumes do matter in these situations. So figure out your local connection and take it from there. Number two, are you asking enough questions? Hey, what's important to you about the agent that you're going to hire? What's going to be most important when making that decision? What's important to you about making this move? Where are you going to next? Asking all the right questions so you know their situation. The agents that don't pre-qualify their listing clients before they go meet them, they're missing a huge opportunity to show off your professionalism, to show off your preparation, and to build rapport. Asking more questions talking 20% of the time instead of 70% of the time, because most salespeople talk way too much, it's going to help you build rapport. You want that person to feel in control. And we know the person that asks the most questions controls the conversations. Thank you, Phil Jones. That's number two. Number three, actually listen and pay attention to what they're saying. Take notes. Put the notes in your CRM. Make sure you know their kids' names, their wife or husband's name, significant other, the dog's name, Make sure you're paying attention to those things because it doesn't work out well when you forget one of the people's names at the appointment or when you're talking to them. It's happened to me before. So don't make that mistake and don't be afraid to ask. Say, hey, what's your wife's name, by the way? What's your husband's name, by the way? And when you're doing that in your pre-qualification, which was number two, then you're going to be able to build more rapport and come off like you actually care about the people because you are, you're asking those questions. So you wanna actually listen to what they're saying, why they're moving to an area. When they tell you that, it gives you something to bring them back to throughout the negotiation and sales process. Bringing people back to their motivation is really important. So actually listening, taking notes, and making sure you know the ins and the outs of the situation, because that's gonna show you care. Most salespeople don't listen, they just talk, 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 talk. Next one, be honest with them. That's number four. This may seem obvious. However, this is the difference between a good agent and a great agent. There's too many real estate agents out there. I can think of a ton of them right off the top of my head that will tell people anything so they get hired and the contract gets signed. That is bad business, period. No question about it. When you tell people all the facts, all the data, you present it to them in a non-confrontational way, 
you're showing them all the news and it's what people need to hear to make a move. So when you show them all the sales data, when you show them here's what homes that are maybe sitting on the market right now where they're priced, it gets them there on their own and it's a collaborative process. Instead of, oh yeah, you want XYZ for the home, 900, sure, without doing any research. And a lot of agents will do that. It's called buying the listing. And I'm not saying you're always gonna get the price right. What I'm saying is do your research and show people all the information because that's what an advisor and a guide does. Number five, give them some take home information. Make sure they have something to walk away with or reference back to. I'm a big believer in bringing the printed out listing presentation so I'm not fumbling around with an iPad or a computer. Some people do well with that, I don't. I wanna give them something I can leave behind so it tells them how great we are. I'll even make that joke. Hey, the rest of this tells you how great we are. Ha, 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 moving on. And they're gonna go through and read that whole thing. And when you leave them something behind that is super professional, very detailed, and explains all the reasons you should be hired as the listing agent, and the other agent doesn't, or it's a folder with a resume in it and that's it, well, you might have a competitive advantage there. And think about this. When you go to buy a car, they give you all kinds of take home pieces. Real estate is no different. And you're selling them on yourself, not the automobile. Make sure you give them a leave behind package. Number six, follow up when you say you will. There is nothing worse than an agent who says, yeah, I'll call you Monday. And they totally forget about it because they didn't use their CRM or they didn't set a reminder. Or they don't do the things you're supposed to and they never follow up with them. If you're the person waiting for your client to get back to you, that's someone you're trying to earn their business, you've already lost. People want proactive agents. They want people that are gonna be proactive in selling their home, and you should be treating your business the exact same way. Follow up when you say you will. If you say you're gonna call them on Monday, you better call them on Monday. And make sure you're telling them you want their business. You love to work with them. You doubt they'll find another agent who will be as focused as you will on getting the home sold. These are all really key things here. Follow up and show intent to win their business. And the last one, and this might seem obvious, do your research, know the market stats, and be ready to discuss the data and intel. If your preparation is two minutes before the appointment and you don't know the sales stats or you don't have notes written down, you're leaving yourself hanging out to dry. The more information you have, it's gonna show you off as that local expert. So I would over prep. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. You've heard me say this many times, that preparation will help you win more listings. You follow these steps, that's gonna build rapport. The kind of rapport that serious and motivated sellers want, which is rapport of someone who's ready to do business, is focused on their needs, is making a connection, and knows what they're talking about.